Hey, I'm Christina from the Autism News Network, and I'm here with the mayor of Charleston, John Technobob. And I'm here with DQ, the <laughs> drama queen. <laughs> He's got some questions for me today. What made you want to become mayor here in Charleston? I love this place so much. It's a beautiful city, and we always want to try to make it better and better for all our citizens. So that's why I want to be mayor. That's great. Yes, ma'am. We are at the opening of the Charleston Learning Center. Why is this important to you? So this is important because there's so many jobs in the world that require an extra measure of learning, particularly about uh, science and about technology. And everyone should have the opportunity to learn these things so that they can get even better jobs in the city of Charleston. That's why it's so important. That sounds like a great opportunity. Yes, ma'am. That's what it's all about. Have you seen a change in the Charleston area in the last few years? I have. You know, we've grown a lot. People have moved here. But, you know, we've seen a lot of new businesses, like right here in this building. This is called the Charleston Digital Corridor Headquarters. And these businesses are very technology-oriented, like software and things like that. So the good part about that is that people who work here make more money. That's great. That's great, isn't it? So if they get the learning at the learning center, then they have the opportunity to get on this job. If you were the animal, what would you be? An animal? <laughs> I think I'd be a dog. <laughs> Just because I love my dog so much. Cool. What kind of dogs do you have? I have two dogs. They are brother and sister. And they are standard poodles. Standard poodles. Very big. And my wife likes them because a poodle doesn't shed hair. That's place. They do have a lot of maintenance. You have to stay very curly. They need a lot of hair brushing and all like that. They're so lovely. Cool. With winter combined houses being so high, any plan to help the housing situation here for the child's community? Yes. That's the issue of what we call affordable housing and try to have housing available really for all different income levels, low income, and even for working people. Um, and that's again why this. Learning center is important because housing prices have gone up. And so, one way to address that is for people to make more money. Then they can afford their housing. Cool. So, that's what we're trying to do here. I'm Christina from the Artists and News Network. I was joined today by the mayor of Charleston, John Tepenbach. Thank you for your time with us. Thank you to the Autism News Network. Appreciate you here today.